today. Oh, good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Today is Monday, so you know what that means. It's time for another Food Dude video. If you guys are new here and do not know who I am, I am Jaden Sewell, also known as the Food Dude, and you guys are the Snack Pack. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and turn on your post notifications right now to become part of the Snack Pack today. What we are doing is we are actually heading to Starbucks to continue our pumpkin spice trend, because, you know, I've never actually even had Starbucks pumpkin spice. Like, I've only had Dunkin', so we're gonna go to Starbucks right now and get theirs and see how it compares to Dunkin'. So let's go. So right now we are headed to Starbucks to go get all of their pumpkin fall drinks. They have three of them, I think. Am I correct? Like I think there's the frap, the coffee, and then the cold brew. That just kind of sounds right. But yes, that's where I am heading is Starbucks. Yes. As we all know from Duncan, I actually did not mind the pumpkin spice, but we have to try it all for science. We cannot just leave one version of pumpkin spice left untried. We have to try them all. Cause like, it's like that's what I do. We don't just try one, we try them all. Cause maybe I might like Starbucks is more than Duncan. We, we we don't know yet. We we genuinely don't know yet. I will see you all at Starbucks. So I made it to Starbucks, so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get all of our drinks, the pumpkin drinks, and then I'm gonna go back to the house and film this because you know, like, I'd rather just film at my house. I, I really would rather film at my house. Like, and I can't really go in Starbucks anyways, so like, just, just easier. I literally got cut in line at the drive-thru. Look at this, look at this, look at this. She literally cut me in line. What is this? No, no, etiquette says no, no. This did not just happen. I literally just got cut in line at the drive what? It is almost my turn. I am up next. I'm a little salty still that I got cut in line, but I get it. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not mad. Hi there. What can I get started for you today? Can I do a venti pumpkin spice latte? Then can I do a pumpkin cream cold brew, a venti as well? And then do a pumpkin scone, a pumpkin bread, and a pumpkin muffin. I got everything. I literally got everything. <laughs> I am clearly got all the drinks. Now it's time to head back to the house. I'll see you there. Now it is time to officially try our pumpkin spice drinks. We have got the pumpkin spice iced latte and the pumpkin spice cold brew with pumpkin cream. We're gonna start with this one because this one's, it's getting a little melty. Like it's starting to melt, but. Okay, A, I think the coffee's better than Dunkin's coffee. I'm not gonna lie to you. It, Starbucks coffee is just a little bit better. And honestly, it doesn't taste like coffee. It tastes more like pumpkin, cinnamon. Like it tastes like you would expect it to. Like so good. Like. Literally so good, like so cinnamony, so pumpkiny. Like then you get the hints of the whipped cream in there. Mmm, so good. So this is the one that I was advised to try: the pumpkin spice cold brew with sweet cream, or with pumpkin cream. Sorry, my mistake. So if you can see, there's a little like pumpkin cream on top. The pumpkin cream is so good. Like you get this hints of like pumpkin and cinnamon, and like. And then you just get the hints of that cold brewed coffee, and that's like, that's my dream. Like, cold coffee is my life. Like, everyone likes hot coffee and all this stuff. I'm like, no, I'm a cold coffee person. And, like, seriously, like, this does the job. Let's, let's just try that cream. Just that pumpkin cream, the pumpkin foam. It's literally like bomb.com. And you get some of this. Literally so good, like the best coffee I've ever had. So like, I'm gonna give this one like a four out of 10 because like it's fair, like it is very good. It is so much better than Duncan's. I'm giving this, the pumpkin cream cold brew, like a solid 10 out of 10, like it is so good. Now, let's move on to the pumpkin snacks. So they had three pumpkin snacks. I grabbed one, this is the pumpkin scone. I don't really know what a scone is, but I'm in for it. There's a lot of frosting from me, I'm not gonna lie, so I'm just going for a piece of the scone now. Being real, Dunkin's pumpkin donut was way better than the scone. But you get some of that icing on there, mm, it's really good. Look, I'm not I'm not saying it's not good. I'm saying Dunkin's donut was better than the scone. So this is going to be the true test of whose muffin was better, because they had a muffin at Dunkin' Donuts, a muffin at Starbucks, and this is pumpkin cream cheese. Ooh, look at that muffin. I like a nice pumpkin cream cheese, I'm not gonna lie to you. You get this rich pumpkin, and then this decadent like cream cheese filling, frosting, whatever that is, and it's like, Mm, oh my god, the combination of those two flavors is immaculate. And last, but not least, our pumpkin bread. It's kind of like banana bread, but it's made of pumpkin. Who would have ever thought? The pumpkin seeds on the outside? Ooh, nice touch there, five bucks. This is kind of one of those things that a few bites of the outside is really nice, and it's kind of moist, it's dense, like, look how dense this is. 
Look at that, look at that density. That seriously has a nice flavor. That's like so good. It has that nice pumpkin flavor. Then you get that crust of the pumpkin seeds on the top. And then it is so sweet and delicious and decadent. It is unreal. But that is it for this episode of The Food Dude. If you guys liked it, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Do not forget to hit that red subscribe button and turn on your post notifications right now to become part of the snack pack today. Do not forget to head over to thefooddudeshop.com right now to get your red limited edition. Give me a cheeseburger t-shirt. We only have a few left in stock, so be sure to get yours now while you still can before they go back in the freezer. But that is it, and I'll see you guys back here next time. Peace out.